about being teamed not only with Brandy Johnson, the gold medalist, but about his strategy in determining his events. Well, we'll start with the last event first. I think it's really important, especially in this elimination competition, to end on your best event, or a very strong event at least. And high bar is very consistent and usually one of my strongest events. And as far as starting parallel bars, um, even if I have a little trouble, I think I'm okay. But uh, P-bars can be my strongest event at times. And then vaulting, we stuck in the middle because it's pretty consistent and a pretty decent score. And he mounts right away to a plunge. Very, very difficult. Takes a lot of power. There's a giant right to a handstand. Front up rise to the center of the bars into a back stitz and settles right into a handstand. There's a back toss. Takes a little step. It's going to cost him about a tenth or two. And a Diamidov. Front up rise. And here's a stitz to a handstand. Another stitz. And here's his dismount. A double pike. Oh, big step. That's going to cost him quite a bit. And that might open the door for Phoebe Mills and Pat Kirksey to be the top contenders, depending on how much they deduct for that major step at the end. Now, when you have a major flaw like that, do they take into account the degree of difficulty on the dismount? They certainly do, but it's, it's an automatic deduction. If you take one step, it's a tenth of a point. You take two steps, it's two tenths of a point. And here's the dismount. It's a double pike. He falls back on the bars a little bit, so he over-rotates. And he's really in a deep squat. He almost landed on his, on his rear end. That could have been a, even a much bigger deduction. Lance really saved it. 